Hello everyone and welcome to the Carousel of Connor. Today we're going to do the shortest lines here at Animal Kingdom. Let's go. Carousel of Connor. If you guys like this video here at Animal Kingdom, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. And of course, one of the best parts of this ride is the tree itself. Very cool. So although we're going to cover all these short lines today, this doesn't mean, this isn't like a suggestion of as far as like, you know, put your whole day around this, but this is just to show you guys what rides are the least weight here to maximize your Disney vacation. Like I said, we're probably not gonna do a lot of the big rides, so I don't want you guys to think that you can't do the big rides, because that's not what this video is. It's just to show you guys what are the shortest lines here at Animal Kingdom. The custodial team here at Animal Kingdom put some a flower Mickey together really cool. See guys, this is what I'm talking about. Like Kilimanjaro Safari, I highly suggest going on this ride if you're here on your Disney vacation, but it is a 45 minute wait right now, so that's not gonna make the cut for our shortest lines here at Animal Kingdom. It is June 15th today, and that means it's the first day of no mass indoors here at Animal Kingdom. So that means no mass inside, no mass at restaurants, stores, rides, all that good stuff. So pretty crazy, and uh, it is a little more crowded because of that. So one thing I feel like not everyone does, and it always is a pretty short line, is the Rafiki's Planet Watch. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of animals. They used to have like almost like uh, drawings over there too. I don't know if they still do that, but we're going to go check that out. We're going on Rafiki's Planet Watch right now. I see that guys, not crowded at all, very nice. As animators travel throughout the world to observe animals in their own surroundings. So guys, it looks like we missed the sketch by literally like five minutes and an extra is not until another 45 minutes. So I think we're gonna probably skip that, but that is something you can do here is the animation. And you can do like, they you have a an Disney animator and they put like a Disney animal from one of the movies and you actually draw it, so it's pretty cool. And you see through this glass too, you can't see it really well, but you can actually see that they are drawing. So that's like a camera on the animator's desk and then everyone else is in the seats kind of trying to copy that and, and draw the animals, so pretty cool. And here too you can see like one of the rooms where they do like surgeries on the animals and things like that, so it's pretty crazy, but uh, cool. And one of the coolest parts here is you can actually look at a lot of the animals. <laughs> here you go right here, he's just, he's just chilling. Over here you gotta go kind of chomp it down over here he's hungry he's getting some Disney snacks and over in the corner over here you got a couple of donkeys too and I know I was here another time they were actually we're doing like some uh, acupuncture on one of the donkeys which was pretty cool to see they were doing like right over here and I think they do that throughout the day there's you know you can see different procedures with the animals and things like that because they you know try to take really good care of them over here so it's pretty cool they get to see that because you only get to see that like zoos and stuff like that so that's kind of neat there's tons of sheep over here but this one i think is my favorite right here he's just chilling you can see there's tons of sheep here to look at too a lot of different animals to look at and also look guys not a ton of people here which is why i think it's one of the better things to do here if you're trying to you know avoid the crowds you're trying to do things that are shorter line one you get an awesome train ride over here which is like really fun and then you can also do the animation and then you can also look at animals. So there's a lot of activities to do here. And it's very quiet over here, it's very nice. One thing we just learned about this sheep right here is he actually is like a hair breed. So he just grows like normal hair. He sheds a little bit, they say, like during the summer stuff. But he's actually peeing right now. But for the most part, uh, you know, he doesn't have like the, like the other sheep where they have like the coat and everything like that. What's funny too is they actually have just like, he's kind of like lying around. Just lying around and actually, if you look over here, you can actually see his, his tongue kind of hanging out a little bit too. And apparently she likes to be pet, so let's give her a pet here. That's kind of cool that just like laying around here. So yeah, some of the animals do just have like free reign, which I think is pretty cool. It's cool that they like, you know, have that kind of freedom and they, they go around and, you know, the guests get to experience that and enjoy that. It's really cool. Now we're over by the big guy over here. He looks like he's by himself, but I'll be his friend today. Here he is. Looks like he's chewing on something. Just kind of hanging out here right next to the, the goats too. And there's more goats over here. We saw a couple before, but it looks like they're all kind of eating. So maybe we caught them at, at their lunch time here. They do have like a little movie over here. It's outdoor seating. It does have some kind of roof here. So if it is raining, you can still enjoy the show, but they do have a little show, a little movie if you guys do want to watch that. Also for anyone wondering, there are bathrooms over here. So if you were worried that there weren't bathrooms over in this area, of course there is, so that's really good. 
And now I think we're gonna head back to the train. We're gonna do some more stuff. I, I like, I don't wanna say actual Animal Kingdom, but more of like the main base kind of area. Do some more stuff like that. It's getting close to lunchtime. You guys know me and food. I, I can't go, you know, can't go without eating with it like every five minutes. So definitely need to get some food soon. And uh, yeah, let's get back on the train. And perfect timing, guys. The train is back. And apparently it's every five minutes a new train comes. So you don't have to worry about waiting very long, which makes it even better. Triceratop Spin is one of the shortest rides here at Animal Kingdom right now at a five minute wait. And can't say I'm shocked there, but I'm probably not gonna ride this ride today. This isn't really like my kind of speed of a ride. You know what I mean? I'd rather waste my time like, you know, waiting on other lines. But if you have little kids or something, they're gonna love this. It is one of two rides that is a five minute wait. So we're gonna go to the other ride that's a five minute wait right now. All right guys, the other five minute ride here is Cali River Rapids. You guys know how I'm not the biggest fan of water rides, but it is a five minute wait. That's what this is all about. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. All right y'all, here we go. As I said before guys, I haven't really done that ride in a long time, so I kind of forgot like where you got wet, where you didn't get wet, that kind of thing. My whole right side is completely soaked. But the top of me didn't get that bad, it was more the bottom, but it was like a ricochet off like one of the walls. But yeah, my whole right side, my left side is completely dry, but the right side of me is completely soaked. So next guys, we're gonna do the Maharaja Jungle Track. It's got monkey, tigers, and dragons. As you can see, let's go check it out. What's really nice about Animal Kingdom is that there are so many like treks, or so many walks, or so many other things to do other than just straight rides, which is like a really nice. I think Disney does that good overall, but Animal Kingdom definitely, you know, obviously is like a you know nature animal themed park, but it's just great that they do have options like that, so that when the lines are really busy. And when it's tougher to get on rides and you don't get to do as much, you can still maximize your time by doing other things around the parks. I spotted our first dragon here, a Komodo dragon. He's kind of just like chilling. Looks like he's sleeping right now. Got a good spot on the rock. But yeah, this is a really good view. And there's not a lot of people over here. A lot of people are going from a different angle. But this is a really good angle right here. Now we're moving over to the monkeys over here. Not a lot of action, but they are just kind of hanging out. You see this one good, really. You see this one right here really good. So you can see a tiger a little bit right over that hill there. He's kind of sleeping. But right now, the, 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 the cast member pretty much said they sleep all day. So he's just kind of chilling right now, resting. Maybe he's got a big snack later that he's gearing up for, which we got to get some food in a little bit for sure. All right, guys. So these aren't the tigers we were looking for, but these are Asiatic buffalo, I believe the cast member just said. So here they are. It looks like they're eating. Enjoying their day here. It actually is turning out to be a pretty nice day too, even though it's pretty rainy this morning. All right guys, we can actually see a tiger over here. Looks like he's just like looking kind of in the plants a little bit. Looks like he's about to go behind this tree maybe. Oh no, he's coming right at us, there we go. But yeah, the other one was sleeping, but he's kind of moving around. So like I said guys, the jungle trek is really cool. I mean, it's an experience like you're not gonna get like everywhere. You know, a lot of people I know that aren't huge Disney fans always say that Animal Kingdom is like a zoo. It's definitely not, and this is kind of the reason why certain things like this, I think it's, you know, pretty cool the way they do it. And, uh, you know, like I was saying before, when the lines are really long, it's cool that they have things like this that you can do. Not to, like, waste time, but just, like, maximize your time and do, like, really fun things that you can't do everywhere else. But let me know in the comments below, guys, what are some of your favorite things to do here at Animal Kingdom? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, guys, so we're over at the Harambe Market where I got the Hot Links bowl. Looks really good, but we actually can't go in until we get our notification because it is mobile order here, so we gotta wait. And here's the offerings here at the Harambe Market. I went with the Hot Link bowl, which is actually a plant-based sausage. But I was I was kind of like looking for something light because I'm probably gonna have some dessert later. So I decided to go with that. All these options look pretty light too. They do have ribs and stuff like that, but they have like salad and rice with it, so not too bad. And the, actually, the salad looks really good too. One thing that's cool about the Harambe Market is you actually have Rafiki's Plant Watch goes right by here. So that's kind of cool. One thing I learned about Harambe Market is I actually asked the cash member, I said, hey, since like my order's already put in, can I go sit down? Because I know some places they don't, they let you do that here. And actually, look at this, guys. My order's right, so let's go eat. So this looks really good. I'm excited to try this rice over here. It's like a lime rice. And then you also have the sausage and the salad here. All right, so let's give it a go. It tastes almost like a ginger dressing on the salad, which is like really good. That salsa that's on top too, pretty good. There is like a little spice I get. I think that's from the sausage. The sausage is cooked really good. And it's plant-based too, but it doesn't even taste like a plant-based at all. It actually tastes like real meat to me. It feels like real meat. 
really good. I didn't try the rice yet. Oh yeah, the rice is good as expected. It's got like, it definitely tastes like the cilantro and lime in there, really good. And the hot link bowl is $12.49. It comes with plant-based sausage with cilantro rice and mixed greens topped with salsa. All right guys, it looks like dinosaur is only 15 minute wait, so let's do this. But let's not talk about me, let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. And remember guys, today is the first official day of no mask here at Disney World, which makes this so crazy. I did a live stream this morning, which is why I'm not gonna do like an actual video of that. But yeah guys, I think we're gonna head over to the Lion King show. It is starting, you can hear thunder, so I'm not sure what that's gonna do for everything, but we are gonna go see if we can go and do the Lion King show, because we've already done a lot of the lines that were low. If you look on the app right now, all the lines are really long. I think the shortest one, as far as the big ones, is like, Everest, that was around 35, 40 minutes. So let's go over to the Lion King show and see how long that is. All right, so the next show for Festival of the Lion King is not until three, that's two hours from now. So we're probably not gonna do that today, but we have not been over to Pandora yet. So let's go over to Pandora and just kind of look around. Maybe if the lines aren't too long, we'll go check out a ride, but I got a feeling there's gonna be some of the longer lines right now. So look at the My Disney Experience app. Every ride is closed except for Navi River Journey, Flight of Passage, it's tough to be a bug. Anything that's inside is still running. Anything that's dinosaur is still going. But anything that's outside is currently closed right now. Except for, I saw Kilimanjaro Safari is still going, but that's a 50 minute wait, which I'm kind of surprised we're still running that. But any other show, any other ride that's outside is currently closed right now because of the thunder. And you guys can see too, the outside lines are gone now, right? There used to be a big line here for Flight of Passage. Now it's just like a walkway, like what it originally was supposed to be and now all the lines are going to be inside unless i guess they're super long we're in this store right now and you can see that there are some social distance markers here right now but this is about the only store that i've seen that in and only most of the rides you can see that those were taken out but here's just a look guys of what it looks like inside a disney world store with no masks on pretty crazy but the passage they actually do have part of the line outside because the actual queue starts over there so they do have some, it's just not as big as it was. And you guys can see Navi River Journey is a 45 minute wait. And surprise, surprise, Flight of Passage is a 75 minute wait, one of the longest waits here right now. So guys, we did all the shortest wait times here at Animal Kingdom. I thought we had a pretty good day. This is like my kind of day too, where it's more relaxed. You just do the rides that aren't that long, that kind of thing. More of like, a, it's like kind of like an annual pass holder approach, I would say, right? When you have those options. I don't have an annual pass, but that was kind of the approach I took today. I had a really good time. Because of the thunder, a lot of rides are closed, which is making the rides that are available even longer because play passage is starting to go up. Even it's tough to be a bug is up to 25 minute wait right now, which is pretty crazy for that ride. It was at five or 10 all day long today. And now it's up to 25 and might even go up after that. So it's pretty crazy. I do want to take this time to thank all my Patreon supporters. You guys are so cool and it just means so much to me. So guys, because of the thunder, I know the way it's been going the last couple days with like rain, thunder and lightning. It's been crazy weather here the last couple days in Orlando. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching guys. We're going to end it here and we'll see you on the next go around.